Today we are making the Idaho Beauty block, which is block number 10. We've pre-cut our fabrics and labeled our pieces with our alphabetes. Our first step in this block is to make our corner units. So first we're going to take our fabric A squares and our fabric H squares. We're going to take four of the fabric H squares. On the wrong side of your red squares, you're going to draw a line from corner to corner. We're going to take the square and put it on any corner you would like. And we're going to pin once. Now we're going to go to our sewing machine and using a 2.0 stitch length, we're going to sew directly on the line that we just drew. So now we're going to trim approximately a quarter inch away from your seam. I'm going to use my scrap bucket. You're just going to trim. It does not have to be exact because this is in your seam allowance. To press your unit, first you're going to set your seam, and then we're going to press towards the red, so I'm going to finger press first. Now we're going to finish our square units. We're going to make two square one units and two square two units. We're going to be using our fabric F and fabric J squares. We're going to repeat the previous step where we draw a line on the back of the squares. On our square one unit, you've got a yellow on this corner. And a yellow on this corner. So I'm going to pin each, and I'm going to sew just like we did before. We're going to cut our triangles off just the same as we did before, a quarter inch away from your stitch. And now we're going to go iron and we'll be right back to finish our square units. So I've laid out our square one unit and our square two unit and we're going to finish them using the same techniques. We're going to just follow the pattern to see where to place your fabrics. Now that I've got everything laid out, I'm going to pin. I'm going to cut off a quarter inch from the stitch line. You're going to press towards the outside. And you're going to make two of each, so you'll have a total of four. And this is how your units look. And now we're going to go to our next step to make flying geese. We're going to take a fabric C and a fabric H. Two fabric H's. We're going to draw on the wrong side of the fabric H's from corner to corner. Put this on one corner. We're going to stitch directly on the line. 
Again, we're going to cut off a quarter inch away from the seam. And now we're going to go press towards your red triangle and we will be right back to finish our flying geese. To finish your flying geese, you're going to put your fabric H square on the other end and pin. And you want it to make a V. So you want to make sure each seam goes in. We're going to stitch on the line. Again, cut a quarter inch away from the seam. Press towards the red. And then we're going to repeat. You're going to make a total of four red flying geese and four blue flying geese. So you're going to have a total of eight flying geese. And now we're ready to put our rows together. We're going to lay it out according to our pattern. So we're going to use two red flying geese, two blue flying geese, two fabric B rectangles, and four fabric D squares. So this is how the row looks. So I'm going to pin in various sections, chain piece, and we'll come back. And now we have our first row done. We've made two. We're going to take this and we're going to press towards your background pieces by setting your seams, finger pressing, and pressing. Now let's make row two. We're going to take two fabric G's and two fabric I's. We're going to take two of our square one units. Two red flying geese and two blue flying geese. We're going to lay this out and make sure it matches our pattern 100% and again we're making two of these rows. We can lay our rows out. On these rows, you're going to press towards your square. So you're going to press in towards your red and in towards your blue. Now let's go ahead and make our third row. On the last row, you're going to use two square units, a square one and a square two. We're going to lay them out according to the pattern. Put the fabric E square in the center. and the fabric B rectangles on the end. And now we have our third row done. On this one, you're going to press towards your fabric B rectangles and towards your fabric E. Now let's lay out all of our rows to make our block. You just want to really pay attention as you're laying out compared to the pattern to make sure everything is going the right direction since this block has so many pieces. such a pretty design with all of the stars and I'm just making sure that all the stars are formed. And now I'm going to pin each row before I go to the sewing machine. So now we have our block complete and we're going to go iron our block. We're going to set our seams. I like to start in the center. I use steam a lot. And then you can press any direction you want. I'm just going to press this way. So I'm going to finger press towards the outside of the block and just gently press down. I use a heavy non-flaking starch and I'm going to starch really heavily. Then do an all over press. And now I'm going to trim the block. To trim the block, I'm going to line up a line on my ruler with one of the center seams. We're going to trim the edge. We're not trimming into the seam allowance at all. We're just trimming off the little slivers of thread. We're going to do that on all four sides. So now we finished the Idaho Beauty block. It's actually my favorite block in the quilt. Come back on November 1st for our stair step block. See you then.